miten immuunikatovirus leviää. Jos puolisot ovat uskollisia toisilleen parisuhteessa, niin HIV-virus ei leviä. Mutta kun HIV-positiivisella miehellä tai naisella on jatkuvasti useita seksisuhteita, niin tilanne on toinen. The people, uh, they, they, they are losing uh, orientation, especially the old people, but also the young people. Uh, the traditional norms, uh, the, uh, the, the traditional setup of the society is, you know, is, 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 is falling apart. Meillä nuoret sanoo hirmu usein, että emme me tiedä avioliitosta mitään, koska ei meidän ympäristössä ketä on naimisissa. Nuoret haluavat nyt itse valita puolisonsa. Tai olla menemättä lainkaan naimisiin. No, it's, it's, it's all because of, of this issue. Some, some men will say, no, nowadays I don't want to have a, room, a man, I don't want to have, and I want to, to live alone. Because it's when I can survive. They are saying this because men, they don't, they don't change their settled behavior, like using condoms. Saatko enemmän vapautta, kun et mene naimisiin? You mean freedom? Yeah, and also freedom. There's a lot of freedom. Nice time also. A lot of violent things are going on, like I have mentioned, rape is one, and also abuse, hitting, couples, women being beaten, girl child being beaten, and abuse even in with words, so they do come. Even here at the counseling center, these are some of the things we are taking care of. Pelkäävätkö tytöt, että avioliitossa mies sanoo, mitä vaimo saa tehdä? I can say that it's 50-50. Some they are refusing just because of that. Some they are refusing just because they say, no, I want to stay single for some years so that I can experience life before I get married. What does it mean, experience life? Meaning that enjoying the freedom. What does that, of that being mean? No, meaning that you can have a boyfriend the way you want it. If I don't like you today, okay, then I can have someone else. That is the freedom they want. They love money. They love luxury. And as a result, some men spend a lot on, on them. Yeah, they're telling the truth. Girls are more demanding. And to turn to find that uh, marriage is, is difficult, expensive on the, the men's side because they're expected to, they're expected to give out and the, the men are receiving. Perinteisesti on annettu lehmiä, vuohia, lampaita. You can pay something like uh, 4000 the money then you organize the, the wedding day. It can cost something like uh, maybe 15000, 10000. It will depend but think people they like uh, expensive things. And maybe a ring, a ring which costs 4000 or, or something yeah, dresses which are cost a lot of money. Uh, no, nobody want to do a simple things. They want a expensive wedding. Eteläisessä Botswanassa avioliitto on meno voi maksaa 80 000 pulaa, eli 12 000 euroa. By now I'm almost around 40 now, and I should be having my own family. But because of this financial backlog, I don't. But it's my dream, because many people can't get married and many people have to survive uh, most people have resorted to for example sex workers or or women will go for men those who can provide financial is that prostitution but the the, 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 the 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 situation is that they were made also to be like that to involve in prostitution they were also made by men to have multi partners for one reason Men will always like to have different ladies. And the girls, boys. If they are coming from the poor background, they are also goes to sugar mommy. Those okay, an old woman like me, be in love with a 
a secondary boy so that I can take care of him very well. Ovatko nuoret tyytyväisiä elämänsä ja vapauteensa? The more they see the people they the more they are doing things. It means that they are happy with the the life they are doing. They no, they are not happy. They they know that this is not really the real the real way of life. But but it is because of, of problems, it is because of experiences. They have seen what happened to others. In Herero, there is work for women and work for men. And most of the time, women cannot be out speaking. Women cannot come in public. Women cannot take decisions. And this is what I'm doing, which is against my culture. And I'm keeping it. Yksi ministereistä puhui, se oli vuonna 2000, kun täällä aukaistiin Orpojen päiväkoti, päiväkotia tuossa meidän kirkon vieressä olevassa Maunin aitsutukikeskuksessa. Ja hän sanoi, että naiset, nyt tänä päivänä te saatte kysyä, kun mies tulee kotiin, että, että missä sinä olet ollut. Millaisia ohjeita saa uusi isätön sukupolvi? And advise them to my, my, my son to get married. And also my daughter, I told me, or if you grown up, I don't, she's supposed to find a partner when she finished school. So she can find a partner, she can get a baby, and if she finds someone that she want to, he wants to marry, they can get married. Botswanan miehet ovat eksyksissä. Yhteiskunnan muutos on ollut liian nopea. Entä naiset? Pitäisikö heitä auttaa tiedostamaan asemansa ja oikeutensa? We mustn't think that a woman is uh, is mind is lower than a man. <coughs> so there's still a lot to teach. <coughs>